at the disco lead vocalist Brendan Yuri called BTS badass in a live stream in ARM ESA calling for a collaboration. Panic! At the Disco is a rock band from LA formed in 2004, made famous for the hit single, I Write Sins Not Tragedies. Brendan Yuri, who is the only remaining original member of the band and who headlines the Cindy Lauper Broadway show Kinky Boots, participated in a live questions and answer session on Twitter when a fan asked, how do you feel about BTS? He responded, badass, your browser does not support video. He began the live stream to promote Panic's sixth studio album, Pray for the Wicked. ARMYs are having fun with his response by quoting lyrics from, I write sins not tragedies. Your browser does not support video. Ad choice is advertising in red invented by Teeds. Well, this calls for a toast, so pour the champagne, pour the champagne. It's much better to face these kinds of things with a sense of poison rationality. I chime in with a haven't you people ever heard of, closing the goddamn door no, fans are also amazed at how much genres are colliding thanks to BTS, and want to see a collaboration between the rock artist and the BTS boys. How are all these things colliding lately, I feel like I'm in some fever dream. This is the moment I've been waiting for OMG. A legend recognizing legends. I was just thinking how I kind of want them to call up but not sure how that would work, Brendan Yuri is an amazing artist. I think they're both amazing artists. Brendan pretty much does most of his music by himself so does BTS so I'm sure they'll get along fine. After the Room and Fall Out Boy collab, I was begging the universe for a BTS and Brendan collab of some sort. BTS loves to experiment, P.A.T.D. loves to experiment. Maybe they'll come together and invent an entirely new music genre. I'm all for the fusion of alternative emo rap K-pop which is a genre. Fusion in itself, rock, ARMEs think Brendan Urie's vocal range would fit in nicely with a duet with V and have pointed out that both artists' central music themes are similar. His energy and stage presence are very refreshing, and his high notes and live vocals always blow me away. Like say, his voice can go super deep yet also unbelievably high. I kinda wanna see these two do a duet now. Now that I think about it, the lyrics of the ballad of Mona Lisa quite fit with the main theme of the Love Yourself series. As Brendan explained, the song is about a battle in yourself, and in a struggle in oneself. The duality in nature, where you see yourself as a bad person, and the good person trying to correct your bad habits, we thought that would be an easy way to describe how we were masking our own emotions and trying to figure out how we can solve the bad choices we make. My personal interpretation of the lyrics went a little deeper than that. I think it is about celebrities' struggle with the perfect persona that they create to mask their flaws, the perfect public facade that their fans love them for which is similar to the meaning of fake love, if you take the theory that it is about the relationship between idols and their fans. I guess Brendan and BTS are more similar than we think, A, eh? and Room collaborated with Fall Out Boy for their remixed track, Champion, in 2017, so the seeds have already been sown for a cross-genre collab. Brendan Urie's admiration for BTS is just another celebrity in a long line of Western performers who would love to collaborate with a K-pop sensation. 12 Western artists who want to collaborate with BTS, Running Man, PD explains the worst difficulties in producing the show.